coming up, but I want to turn now to education in the state. Student enrollment in Michigan's public school districts have dropped dramatically, and that means less revenue is coming in, forcing districts to close buildings and make some other tough cuts. Now, over the past decade, K-12 through enrollment has fallen 11 percent statewide, and the decline is even larger for younger students. K-5 through enrollment is down 15 percent since 2000. Experts say we should not expect a change in this trend anytime soon. And, you know, this is really um, the story and the data that came out is actually in the Detroit News this week. It was a really interesting article. We'll have a link on it to myweek.org. But Nolan, as you know, kids go back to school in these districts, and, and this is not, um, you know, these are districts from uh, from Detroit, you know, obviously we talk about money problems there, but Ferndale, Farmington, you have a lot of districts that are now working on consolidating, um, and this is really the new normal for them, I think. We've got fewer kids, um, and yet we have the same number of school districts we had when our our under 18 population was a third larger than it is today. We've got to consolidate school districts. We've got to look within districts to, to, to scale back the infrastructure. It's not a whole lot different than what's happened in the city of Detroit. Um, municipally, as, as the population has shrank, we're stuck with the same amount of infrastructure we have to maintain. That's true in the school districts as well. There's no way we should have 538 school districts in this state, the way the population, that may, that may not have ever made sense. You know, in most states, you have countywide school districts. If we had that in Michigan, we'd have, what, 83? 83. 83. 83 yeah, school 577. You know, yeah, yeah. but you always have those, this, always those tough decisions, though, whenever you hear of a possible school closing in your district. I mean, you have parents mm -hmm. that will turn out and say, no, you can't can't do this. So how easy is that, though, Stephen, to say, you know what, we're going to consolidate a no, district? No, it's, it's impossible. I mean, I, I, I talked with the, the superintendent of the Farmington schools uh, this week and asked him about a district called Clarenceville, which <laughs> exists between Livonia and Farmington. It is a very small oh. Uh, a couple district. of hundred kids. Yeah, uh, but it's got you know it's got its own elementary and middle and, and high school. school. And the people who live in that community, I think, would be the last people on earth to say they would give that up to join the Farmington district or the Livonia district. And that, you know, this all goes back to our history here in Michigan. A lot of these uh, small districts were created out of. Uh, class impulses, you know, people wanting to get away from the poor, and uh, about race, people wanting to get away from African Americans and create their own places. And so now we're stuck with this this sort of uh, bloated infrastructure, school districts all over the place that don't make any sense. Uh, but it is really hard then to go back and get people to say, well, we'll give that up, even though now the, the, the reasons to preserve those districts uh, are not what they originally were. I'm never sure that was what the original reason were, but you know, we, what, uh, we have we, entire cities that we were have created this, out of we that. We have the same situation in every little community wanting their own f fire department, wanting their own police department. I mean, we built this, this, this state up, this region up with this, this whole, this local control, um, in, uh, mentality and, and you know, local pride issues and now we just can't support the infrastructure so we got to do we got to shrink the physical in infrastructure because we're not going to we're not going to make more kids I don't think so we got to shrink the physical in infrastructure but we also have to st have to look at um, at legacy cost and how we're going to manage them I mean very little has been done I mean we Snyder has, has, has made some progress I think he's made cutting, a lot of progress with in that. cutting labor and legacy costs but mm -hmm. not enough I think we got to look at retirement ages um, you know, you can't have teachers retiring in their 50s and staying on on the benefit system for 30 and 40 there's years. Also, it just doesn't work anymore. There's also an urban policy uh, d dimension to this. Uh, when you look at districts like Farmington, which mm -hmm. are now seeing population loss that you used to see in places like Ferndale uh, and, and inner, more uh, closer inner uh, ring suburbs, What's happening is people are moving, still moving further and further out. Uh, and, and people aren't having as many kids as they used and they to are have. Not they're having, having maybe one or two kids. kids. They're not having right. three and four kids. And I also, mean, go, go ahead. ahead. No, I was going to say also, school of choice might have a component in this as well, as, as kids can yeah. hop, uh, I mean, hop around and districts so are fighting. We've got to be, we've got to be able to say. Look, uh, uh, we're not going to continue to sort of grow the urban uh, uh, borders of the metro area because it's it's you're you're starting to erode the density that that supported these these suburbs in the first place. Uh, you know, uh, a place like Farmington is losing population to a place like Novi or uh, Canton and Northville. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we've got to be able to manage that kind of growth a little better than we have in the past.